Welcome back to Auntie's Art Club. That kind of sounded like a Christmas carol. <laughs> so today we're going to be practicing a patient art technique. So we're going to be using wet on wet and wet on dry, but we're going to try to be patient, to go slowly and take our time, and to practice really controlling our brush, paying attention to our hand, how our hands and our eyes work together, and how we like to blend color and use water. This is an inquiry. I'm showing you how I did a piece of art called Patience. This took me over six hours of painting. So it's really sped up just to give you ideas. You can copy some of my ideas or maybe spark your own, but this is just uh, some art. And remember that it's abstract art, so it doesn't have to make any sense. So we're going to start by taping our paper. Remember, you can put your tape on your clothing and peel it off before you put it on your paper if you find it's too sticky and it's ripping when you take it off. So that's a nice little trick. And make your edges straight or wonky, depending on the look you're going for. You can always ask for help with this stage. Okay, we're going to start with a wet on wet background. So wet your paper just with a brush, put some water on it. And then I started with just a pale amount of paint. For this, I did the rainbow, but you could just blend whatever colors come to you. Remember, it's abstract. It's just for fun. What's interesting to you? I kept my paper wet and for some of the colors, I went back over them to add a little bit extra and I was continually adding water and playing around with this until I got my background exactly what I wanted it to be. I didn't want it too dark because I know I'm going to paint over it. So nice and pale and blend and play and then give it some time to dry before we move on to the wet on dry details. So once your paper is completely dry, it's time to experiment with paint and brushes. So just, you can use lots of water or a little bit of water as you wet your paints and use, I used a really thin brush. I used the zero zero brush here, but play around with the different brushes that you have. You have lots to choose from. For this, I was using wavy lines. But imagine what might happen if you made thick, chunky lines. Bosley came to visit. Nothing like a little bit of cat fur in your art. <laughs> and you can just keep playing. Remember, this took me over six hours of painting. I took my time with it. I didn't rush. I just enjoyed playing with the brush and seeing what happened. Practicing patience. I invite you, as you work on this, to really experiment with the pressure of the brush. How hard are you pressing down? How are you bending the bristles of the brush? What way, what direction of painting is most comfortable for you? What happens when you twirl and whirl your brush? It's all about exploration and fun, and there's no way that this has to look. You could copy this idea, or maybe you have a different idea, but a general um, story starter or painting starter is do your wet on wet background with whatever colors call to you. You can always go with the rainbow theme, Roy G. Biv, <laughs> and then see where it takes you. Sometimes I will decide the lines I put on top based on how the water dries, how the paint dries. Look at your paper, look at your background, and let that decide what you put onto your second layer or maybe even third layer. It's really up to you. This is just an exploration and a way to develop your art skills, your inner artist, and discover what your unique painting style is. So this one, I invite you to have patience. If you're going to use the little brush, go slow, be gentle with the brush, 
don't brassle those bristles. And remember, when you're done, to take the brush out of your water. This painting was really fun to make. I had fun making it. If you feel yourself getting frustrated or you're not having fun, go take a break. Go outside in nature or go look at something pretty. Go read a good book. Go jump, jump around and play. Put on some good music and dance. Whatever it is that makes you feel happy. And then come back to it and remind yourself it's just for fun. And this is going to help you discover how you like to paint. And after it's dry, very carefully take the paint tape off. And there you have it. This is a simple way to practice your wet on wet and wet on dry painting techniques and enjoy painting however you like to paint. I hope you had fun creating today. Remember, it's important to clean up and take care of your supplies. So make sure you rinse your brushes well and put them somewhere flat to dry. Let your paint palette dry completely before putting it back in the bag. Let your paper dry before taking the tape off, then it'll be nice and flat. Wipe your workspace down, drain and put away your jar or cup of water, and put all your items back in your art bag so they're ready for next time you want to create something. Thank you so much for creating with me today. Uh, just a reminder, if you want to share any of your art, send me a clear picture. Get a grown-up to send me a clear picture of what you created, and I'll add it to the gallery. And I'm always open to new ideas and inspiration. I'm curious about what you want to create. Thank you so much, and happy creating!